Are you desperate because snails and slugs are killing your plants? Do not despair. I'm going to present to you some ecological and homemade tricks to get rid of them. Pay attention. The beer container. Okay, the first one, the first solution is very well known. And take some kind of vase, a glass, put it in the soil, bury it very close to the plants that are more susceptible to be eaten by snails and just fill it with beer. So, just take beer and pour it. Snails and slugs love beer. So, at night they will come, they will be attracted by the smell of the beer and they will go there. Don't fill it up completely, just leave it there and they will drown. If you are in Asturias, like here, or somewhere where it drains a lot, you don't want it to fill with water, so just cover it with a shingle. So, snails and slugs love it, they would come here at night, they will go in the beer. A shingle. Okay, another method, less aggressive, just take a shingle and place it where you know the snails are going to be hiding at night because the shingle saves, keeps humidity. So just place the shingle and the next day come here and, well, we don't have many this time, but snails will come here. So just pick them up. Okay, just place the shingle again, just as it was. Orange rinds. Now, with this method of the shingle, we can also do something different. If you don't like the beer thing, because they, well, they drown and die, there are other options. One way was just to pick up the shingle every day and pick the snails and slugs. And the other option is that there are some foods that are very attractive for them, like oranges. So, we take the orange rind, we hide it under the shingle. And the next day, we know they were attracted, so we're probably going to have many snails and slugs in here. So they can just hide and also eat. Potato peel. Just like with the oranges, well, same thing with the potatoes. You take the skin, they just love it. Okay, turn the shingle over, put them here, look, we have already slug. I just pick it and take it away. So we're going to leave the potatoes there, covered with the shingle. The beer rag. Another option, if you don't want them to drown in beer because you don't want to kill them, so let's just use a rag or towel, soak it with beer a lot, and you go ahead, cover it with a shingle. I cover it because here in Asturias it drains a lot, so I don't want the effect to be watered down. So to summarize, the methods we have with the shingles we have used, the rag soaked in beer, the glass with beer under shingle, below a shingle, just the shingle itself, the shingle with potato, skin, and the shingle with orange rinds. So, that's a summary. Removing the eggs. Another solution is to look around in the garden for the eggs, the snail's eggs. They are regularly in places that are very dark and wet, so just 
remove the eggs. You can see how they look, in case you have never seen them, that's how they look. Snail, eggs, eggshells! Okay, here in this part of the garden I have used another method I like a lot, which is just to put eggshells, ashes also, because they are going to go away because they don't like it. They don't like these things, they don't like eggshells or ashes. It won't kill them, but they won't come. This area where I have charts was plagued with snails and, well, using this method, they have not come back and the plants are recovering. Plastic bottles! Another good solution for snails. It doesn't hurt them, but protects the plants. They love young plants or recently planted things. They just love them. So just make a tube, a plastic tube with a plastic bottle and cover them. And you protect them from bad weather and mostly from snails and slugs. Cooking salt. Another method that I don't like very much, but it's to just spread cooking salt. I don't like it because the salt dehydrates snails. So, well, it's a very cruel death. And also, with water, the salt just goes away. It dissolves. Your fingers! And lastly, the most effective method, it's better to do it at night or after dawn or after the rain and just take them out with your hands. Uh, be careful not to break the leaves, just pick them with your hands. You, we just look around. This is better done at night or when it's getting dark, just come with a flashlight and remove them. You just take them out slowly. Okay, so these are all the solutions. I know. So if you have another method, which is, well, more effective or more interesting, just share it with us. Write a comment. And, well, you let me know if it works. I'll see you next time.